Hey guys, it's Tim, the Log Picking Patrolman, and today's video is actually not going to be about logs, but it is going to be about something that most of us log enthusiasts have in common, and that is the wonderful kitty cat. Uh, most of you know that I have four kitty cats. All of them are off the street rescues. Multitudes of other log sporters and log smiths also have kitty cats and have talked about them, shared pictures. Um, and we all really care about the well-being of cats anywhere in the world. And I want to bring some attention to a Twitter profile uh, that's out there that I've been following for some time. And you may have seen me retweet it on my Twitter profile, um, which if you're not on, uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then I will post my handle in the description of this video below. However, the account that I want to talk about is one called Cats With No Hope. Cats With No Hope is the account of a uh, United States born lady who currently resides in North Africa. Uh, she has retired and moved over there and her goal in life is to take care of uh, feral cats, stray cats, throughout areas where uh, a lot of veterinary uh, animal rights people just won't go because it can be dangerous sometimes. Um, this lady's name is Tammy. She is currently in Northern Africa, in a country in North Africa, and she has been caring for hundreds of feral cats all throughout the city. And she has rescued and adopted 30 that she currently has living inside with her right now. Um, and just to give you an idea of kind of what she does, she will not only feed these cats regularly, but she monitors them for health problems, injuries, other types of sickness. And she will actually, you know, catch the cat and take it to a veterinarian there in the area. Sometimes if the cat is very sick, she will travel a little bit farther uh, to a veterinarian who can give a little bit better care but she has done all this amazing work by herself over there and has rescued some of the sweetest looking cats ever and most playful kittens um please go check her out on twitter uh, the reason why i'm making this video though is yesterday she posted an absolutely gut-wrenching video showing an area in the uh, town or city that she's located in that people who follow her have seen in previous videos of hers many times. And it's an area where she feeds a large colony of feral cats. And these cats that she has pulled out, uh, some have you know severe viruses that she has taken and gotten treated for. She gets them sterilized and vaccinated and released back. Uh, she doesn't keep all of them, but the ones who can be helped and treated and released back, she does. Uh, just the other week, she managed to catch five or six out of uh, this colony and have them all treated, uh, sterilized, and then vaccinated and released back. <sighs> The gut-wrenching video yesterday that she showed was of this area where she meets these cats every single day. And somebody had told her that persons unknown had targeted those cats and poisoned all of them. All my cats are gone. came through and somebody poisoned them. They apparently cleaned up the garbage and everything and they were they threw them in the back of the truck and so, so we're still alive. I didn't need to get to, get to bury them. <laughs> There's no sight of anybody anywhere here. <laughs> oh. 
all of the cats were gone. There were other witnesses who saw these people put the cats, some of whom were still alive or clinging to life at the time, in the back of the truck and hauled them off. That's horrible, folks. Um, she is well known in this area for being the woman who takes care of cats. She has had people bring her cats before to care for them and help them that you know were sick or injured. Um, if you go and look back through her tweets, it, some of the stories that she has are truly heartbreaking. Um, what happened yesterday is, is evil. There's no other word for it. So she is now in the process of trying to relocate to a safer place. All of her indoor cats um, include cats that are completely blind, that have had to have both eyes removed, um, other cats that simply you know, might need regular medication, and others that she nursed from literally near death's doorstep, and now they are thriving. So in order to protect those cats that she has living with her, she is relocating to another area. Now for her work, she has set up a GoFundMe page and a PayPal account. And I've donated to her when I could. Uh, nothing huge, I can't afford as much money as I would love to send to her uh, for that wonderful work she's doing. But anyway, please go check it out. Read over her stories, read her tweets, look at her links. Uh, the GoFundMe has several, you know, a bunch of pictures and videos. And look at it. If you can't afford to give, that's perfectly understandable. Maybe just leave her an encouraging, you know, comment on one of her posts. But this is something I felt very strongly about since I saw the video she posted on. So, again, I will leave the link in the description below, and I should put it right here in the screen, but it's Twitter at Cats with No Hope. That's at C-A-T-S-W-I-T-H-N-O-H-O-P-E. So, thank you. I'm sorry this isn't a locked video. I promise I'm getting ready to start one right now as soon as I get done with this, and I hope you guys uh, will go check her out. Thank you.